Hello everyone, my name is Saksham Dixit and this is my channel Pantest Diaries. So today I'll continue the same series of Python programming. This is exercise number 5 and this is the intermediate level. So now let's start it. So before proceeding further, these are the links on which you can connect me. I provided the LinkedIn link, a GitHub link and even the blog link. You can visit my GitHub link, whatever the code we have created over here. I'll put it just after this video. I'll put it on the GitHub. You can collect from the other code and you can run it on your system. So now the statement for the code. So in this we have to create a program of routine tracker in which user have to input the name then select whether to log new entry or add in the existing one or can retrieve the data which is already added. Here we have to create a file with the name of user for different activities like for food, the food underscore username.txt and for exercise exe underscore username.txt. Make sure entry of data in file should be along with current data and time. So I'll explain you once again what exactly we have to achieve in this code. So the, once we run the code, um, the user have to put it the username then after that there is an option to lock or to retrieve. So there are three scenarios in this code. One, the user have using this code first time. So at that time, the user have to input the username and then after that select log or retrieve. Definitely a user have to log it. So the person have to click the option one. Then after that, it's just going to the section where the person have to select which activity. It's a routine tracker. So the person have to select activity like that, either a food entry or a exercise, like taking food, like a person have using eating pizza or exercise, something like that, anything the person have to put it. So once the person have put it that entry, then after that click on enter it's automatically get saved it's saved in the txt file at the back side so like in the same directory where we have the code itself it's automatically create one txt file and put it with the name itself and um, uh, making with that exercise exercise underscore the name of the user and along with the date what is the current date and the time and the uh, like whatever the entry we give it over there so now taking example the same uh, the same user visit the code once again and that person want to end put an entry in the food section once again then in that case the person have to go to the same procedure once again and in that case it this same file will be get it open once again and it added with a new latest time and the uh, time and the whatever the uh, stuff the person have to put it over there the person can save it and that file is automatically get saved once again so later on take example the third scenario when the person have logged in once again uh, access this code once again and go into the retrieve section now in the whole day the person have put it a couple of entries inside of the file now the person want to see like uh, what are the entries present in my file so in the retrieve section the person have to select the activity like a food once the person has selected the activity one like a food then in that case it's automatically whatever the file is present in the directory where the code is it it's get fetched and display on the screen itself the person can see whatever the entry the person have put it in the entire day or a week itself or whatever the thing it depends on it so this is the simple code which i'll try to make it over here so now let's start so this is the code which i have already created okay so i'll explain you each and every line and then i'll run this code so the first line is the import date time. We require the date time just to make sure that whatever the entry we are putting inside of the file, uh, it should be along with the time and the date so that we can able to identify very easily like at on which day or at what time the person have entered this. Okay. And now the from path lib import path. This is for identifying like uh, whatever the file we are putting inside of the directory. We just want to get it identify whether uh, the file is already present over there. Is it a existing file or there is new file is creating? So just to get the information by that we are using this. Uh, uh, we are using this library. Okay. Now uh, this function we have created get time one just to make sure um, in a file when we're creating a file we have to use this in our code so that a time and the date will be introduced in each and every entry okay so that was the reason we have defined this 
function over here now we'll go to the log one then to the retrieve one so before proceeding further we'll just go back uh, go to the bottom of it and now i'll proceed further with it so this is a straightforward print command by which when we run the code this is the first thing is displayed on the screen then after that it's going to the section where we're taking a entry a equal to a username then after that b entry is to select whether the user want to get it a log or a retrieve so take example user is selecting one then it's this is the condition where it's going further b equal to equal to one then log one is a so a is like a username is just passing over here and now we'll go to the log one okay so now this is a function which we which, which we have already defined it over here now one more temporary variable we have created over here that is c equal to integer one and over here we have to identify which activity for which we want to get it logged okay so take example the user has selected one so after that uh, for each and every activity we required like the file should be created so with the name of the user take example 100 user use this code so maybe a possibility sam uh, Nikhil, Nick, anyone like that. So uh, to get it identify which you, which file is belongs to which user, we have to make it uh, we have to make it a um, activity along with the username. So that was the reason I have created this is as a prefix itself. I have created uh, this is a parameter I have defined it uh, food underscore and along with the file name we are just merging it. So name of the user is Sam and we can say that. This is the prefixes get it added. So the file is created at the back end with a name food underscore sam. Okay, this is understood by this line. Now we'll go inside of it. There is first condition like it may be a possibility the user have already logged in earlier also and put some entries. So that was the reason we have created this condition over here if condition where we have to uh, we have to check the file name first. Like taking example food underscore sam. The file name is uh, just passing over here and check whether it's present in the directory or not. If it's already present, this this section is get executed. Okay, and file exists. We are getting on a screen. Then after that, it's going this section where we are appending it. Now, like we are not creating new file, we are appending the same file which is present. And now we we are passing this to the parameter that op. Now user input whatever the value we want to pass it we want to get it added instead of the existing one we have to put it over here now after that we have to write that like once we pass it now we want it that to be get it right okay so along with that we have to put it a data also so this is the parameter i put it first so that i have to pass like this is the function which we have defined it over here we simply have to use it over here uh, along with that I have to put it this user uh, user underscore input so that whatever the value we have input as a value it just gets saved and we have to close the file so this is a if condition where the file is already exists take example in the else section if the file is not exist and the user is visited our code first time then in that case uh, the full file name like it's the same condition we have to execute it and uh, in that case the name of the file is present over here and it's created now now the file is get created for us and uh, as a f so f is the parameter we are using it over here now the value we want to get it uh, insert of the file and it's write it down f dot written its file along with the data and time okay now the file is getting closed and we have to print this command this command is printed for both the condition even the file is exist or even the new file successfully written okay now this is the first scenario where where i can say that the user have selected a food now the same situation for c2 that is a exercise if a user is selected for the exercise also the same condition happen you can see that a little bit changes like uh, the uh, parameters or those things you have changed only other than the complete logic is exact the same i'm not continue the same i'm not explaining the same thing once again now i'll directly go to the l section where if if a person have selected a three instead of one or two a person have selected three then in that case it's going to please enter a valid input okay so this section is completed for the log one now over here if a user have selected as b equal to two like over here the person have selected to retrieve it like the user is existing one and that person want to see the whatever the entry the person have put it earlier that person want to see that on a screen then in that case the person has selected b equal to 2 and then we'll just go to this function once again that is a retrieve one 
over here there is a temporary parameter we have created okay we have to ask the user like uh, what file the person wanted data on a screen like either the data is belongs to the food or the exercise okay as per the activities so if a user have selected one then it's going inside of it this is the uh, this is the parameter like it's a prefix we have created over here we are creating a full file name over here now we are comparing that file whether that file is already exist whether the file is present over there or not okay it may be a possibility the person haven't log in and maybe that person is trying with that uh, uh, to retrieve it it uh, that person had not visited earlier and still that person is trying to retrieve something so just for that i have put it this condition so that we have to check whether this file name along with the prefix is present in the directory or not if it's present then inside of it we can read the content and the complete content will be printed printed in front of us okay till the end till the end the content will be printed out for us and then the file is get closed the same condition for if the person is selected two that is for the exercise the same thing happen for the two also now if a person have selected a wrong entry then the same thing please enter a valid input that is the straight forward steps we require to be put in front of okay these are the scenarios which is present inside of this code when you try to run it now let's run this code and try to explore it so i'll put it a entry taking example sam okay and now it's asking for whether i want to get it log or i want to retrieve okay so i'll try to make it like uh, i'll try to log first like i have not uh, i have not put it any entry earlier so that was the reason i put it a log now it's asking for which type of activity a food or exercise so i'll select a food okay now i'll put the entry so i'll put it pizza once i click on enter it successfully written okay if i'll try to check the same file once again so you can see that this file is created for me i'll try to get it open for me and you can see this file so the date time and the entry of the user is created so wherever you have the code file it's automatically get inside of it okay now i'll run the code once again and try to edit the same file so i'm using the same user once again i'll go to the log section okay and once again i'll go to the food section so this time the file is already exist so this is the statement is printed on a screen file exist now i'll put new entry taking example that's our favorite food so i'll put it this and it's getting saved now i'll try to open the same file once again and you can see that new entry will be added okay so this is the second scenario where we can put it a uh, new entry inside of the same file now i'll go for the third scenario where the user want to retrieve the content okay so this time i'll select the option 2 and now i'll go for the food one only okay so i can you can see on my screen the file is already exist and these are the entries i have put in a day itself okay so this is all about the code which i try to get it explain i'll put it this code on github you can correct it from there you can try to explore it more on this what are the new stuffs if you want to get it add new things just let me know comment me let me know what are the things new you wanted to be get it added inside of it or you can download this code you can explore it more and new features you can add it in this code it's just a beginning of it okay now let's go back to our slides once again so thank you so much for watching this video you can connect me on linkedin blog and the github thank you so much once again if you like this video please like this and subscribe my channel thank you so much bye bye